If you have an uncle or grandma who is on Facebook, you've probably heard of chemtrails. The basic narrative is that the visible trails created by aircraft are chemicals. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay! That are dispersed for nefarious reasons by nefarious governments or other actors. There's giant weather modification systems and there's weather wars between different governments and they it's all declassified. And all of this is sad slash unfortunate, but what I will do here is not trying to engage the believers or debunking these theories because frankly it doesn't work anyway. It doesn't do anything. So if you are a chemtrail believer, this video is not for you. Instead, this is a video for regular people who can tell that the whole chemtrail idea is kind of incorrect, but who don't know what these trails really are. You know how on cold winter days you can't see your own breath. What you can see there is the water molecules in your warm breath freezing in the cold air and becoming either droplets or even ice crystals, essentially turning into a tiny cloud. We call this process condensation. In the most basic terms, what some people call chemtrails is just aircraft going with their engines, of course. All current aircraft turbines are combustion engines, meaning their exhausts primarily contain CO2 and water vapor, and they're hot, and the air at high altitudes is cold. So what we get is again condensation, and what this creates is called, careful, contrails, not chemtrails, Contrails, condensation trails. Uh, yeah, chemtrails is actually a pun, it's a wordplay on the real thing. This condensation process depends mostly on temperature and humidity. So you can get very different results for different days, for different regions and for different flight altitudes. And that's why you sometimes get contrails and sometimes you don't. And sometimes they disperse quickly and sometimes they persist for a really long time. This phenomenon is as old as manned flight itself. You can see it in lots of, of historical pictures. For example, this one from World War II. I know, I know, it can look very ominous and we also like to construct some intention and purpose behind every effect we see, but this is really just very basic physics. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I'm kind of retarded. <laughs> Subscribe for more awesome physics.